Hey, 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 and hey. I'm really excited about these new sunglasses from Fiverr. They are really cool. Anyway, um, this morning I only have a few minutes. There's the clock. Okay. I only have a few minutes. I dropped you up. Um, I'm chilling out on my bed. Um, for you just casual stuff here mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I wanted to talk to you about what to do when your family doesn't necessarily support your dreams now this is you know your family might support you they might uh, love you but they don't necessarily feel like you are making the best decisions for yourself um, that you're being too risky or you're being, being irresponsible or, you know, all of these things. Because at the end of the day, they're trying to protect you, right? They're trying to say, okay, don't start your business because if you start a business, you might lose all of your money and end up homeless and this and this and this. And they're trying to protect you from that, right? So the thing to do, and, and it can be as big as starting a business, as little as, you know what, I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to cut gluten out or... I'm going to cut sugar out or, um, you know, I'm going to start taking dance classes or whatever it is that your heart's calling you to do. And really the answer to handling that, to handling the stresses of family or loved ones not supporting your dreams or your decisions is, first of all, taking a step back and saying, hmm, okay, why, why aren't they supporting this? Look at it from their perspective. There's a couple different things that could be happening. It could be that you're triggering something in them because maybe they had a financial hardship and the fact that you're starting a business is really scary to them. They don't want to see you go through the same thing that they went through. They're trying to protect you. They're, they're looking out for you. They genuinely don't see the light at the end of the tunnel for you. So they don't want you to take that step because they're afraid that you're, you're going to fall on your face. So they're watching out for you. There's also this third category, and the third category is just straight up unsupportive. They're, your success is threatening to them. And um, this is the question you have to ask yourself um, if this is a person, um, if this is a person of choice, right, that you need to share these goals and aspirations with, or can you just do them? Do you need their approval to become the person you want to become. In most cases, even with family, you don't need their approval to step into your highest calling, to step into going to dance classes or changing your diet or starting your own business or getting into the studio more. You just can do it and let them see the ripple effects. I know for me, I had a loved one who did not believe in me when I first started my business. They thought it was a scary, crazy, irresponsible, just out of college, what are you doing idea. And for the longest time, you know, I would say, you know, when I make enough money in my business, when I do that, when I do this, and when I'm able to influence the lives of all of these women, when I'm rich, right? And it took them years to come around. They, it wasn't, it was never, it was always if you do it or, you know, when you get a better job. And finally, I mean, years down the road, it took years of me Call, like stepping into my own calling and stepping into my highest self for them to finally say, you know, when you become rich, you owe me money, right? And so that was their way of being snarky about, oh, I, n I finally believe in you. I, you know, you stood up for yourself and for your dreams for this mm -hmm. amount of time. And now I, I'm saying, hey, I don't like it that you were right, but I believe in you and I support you. And here's the key for this. When your loved ones don't support your decisions or, or your dreams, it's standing up for yourself and not necessarily in a, a verbal confrontation. It's just saying, hey, this is me. This is my body. This is my mind. This is my life. And I'm going to stand up for what my heart's calling me to do. So there's that. And then you have other people that, you know, don't want you to succeed. This is the one that I'm literally, this is the first, I, I'll tell you a story actually. This dress I wore on an evening with an old partner who did not, who was very threatened by my business. And I actually had a fight. The last time I wore this dress, I had a, a confrontation about being too masculine and being, uh, 
you know, all about this and all about that. And why can't I just be a normal woman, whatever that is, right? And so I was like, okay, I love, I love you. You're, you're an amazing person in my life. But I know that here, I am built for so much more. I was created for a purpose. My dreams are so much more important to my happiness than this relationship or um, this thing. And it's not that you have to let go of a relationship. If, it's, if you're supposed to be together, especially in a romantic format, style then you it will work they will come around like uh, I had a friend who came around finally said when you become rich not if you become rich right and so this this dress to me is an example of and it's not even like that attractive of a dress let's be real it's kind of grandma -y, but I like grandma's my style so <laughs> um, that in bohemian but it's about it's like the representation of yeah this is who I am. This is my dreams. I don't have to explain myself to anyone. I can just step up and step into the person I want to be. It doesn't have to be a big drama fest. It can just be, you know, I'm going to, I'm signing up for the dance classes. I, I'm going to do it every Tuesday night. I'm just not available now. I can, I mean, I can hang out between four and seven, but at seven 30, I'm going to be at the dance class. It's not necessarily about asking for permission. I think a lot of us make the mistake of always asking for permission for the things that we don't need permission for. If we want to build the life we, we want for ourselves, we're dreaming for ourselves, you have 100% permission. And if you need permission, here's your permission. I'm giving you permission to give yourself permission to step into your dreams, to be true to yourself so that it's not you know, it's three years down the road or a year down the road where the person finally comes around and they see it and you're glad that you stood up for yourself and you're already living the, your dream life and you're happier than you've ever been in your entire life because you were true to yourself and not wondering what if, what if, what if. I read an article once that tells me, that tells you, um, or told me, I guess at the time, what the top 10 regrets of dying like, you know, before people, the people were asked on their deathbeds what they regretted most. And in the top five was the things that they never did, the dreams they never pursued. And I don't want that to be you. I want you, and I'm, I'm preaching to myself always as much as I'm preaching to you, to step into what your heart's calling you to do. Listen to it. Say, you know, I'm going to, I really want to travel. I'm going to book that first ticket. I really want to be healthy. I want to feel half, like feel energized. I'm going to start eating healthy. I want to start the business. I'm going to start the business plan, right? I'm going to start networking as a business owner, whatever it is, and say, I don't need permission. I'm giving myself permission and move through life because those people, they're, they're going to come around, but they're not going to come around in your timing. They'll come around in their own. So it's always about you being in alignment with yourself, you being happy and not looking for approval at other places. But, um, so I wanted, I put this dress on this morning and I thought, hmm, it really symbol, symbolizes a lot and I thought I would share it with you guys because I think it's really important. And it's a really important part that I know a lot of us do mistakenly asking for permission from people that don't have power over us. We're giving, we're literally handing our own power away to other people even if it is somebody we really love and care about and trust. So, um, anyway, I would love to have a conversation with any of you guys. If you're, if you're afraid of stepping into anything, if you're struggling, um, if you just want to talk, I'm really here. So you can comment or send me a Facebook message um, or go to my website, apopstudios.com. You can like fill out the little contact form there. But um, anyway, it's always great to spend time with you guys, and I hopefully will see you around soon on Facebook Live. All right.